this track today, you will feel forces with millions of people worldwide who want to save lives, who want to finish the fight. Well, each of us has our unique reason for being here today. We all have something very in common. We want to make a difference in the fight against cancer. And we are doing that. You're doing that as a community. The steps we take around the track, the money that we raise and continue to raise to enable the American Cancer Society to save lives, to help people with cancer today with the programs and support that we need. Fighting cancer's cause and cures through groundbreaking research and ensuring access to screening and treatment for everyone. Some of your fellow RELO participants have gone above and beyond the call of duty to make this RELO event a great experience. The people that you see among you in the green shirts are members of our community who were part of the Relay for, event, Relay for Life event leadership team and helped make this year's event happen. We're gonna honor our survivors who are with us by asking them to take a, the first lap and then we'll ask everyone else to fan out around the track and cheer them on as they go. As we finish the lap, we'll ask them We'll ask anyone who is currently a caregiver or who has been a caregiver to join the survivors for the second lap. Then we'll ask all the teams to walk a lap together before we settle into a walking schedule and kick off our event activities. Good afternoon and my name is Shelly Lang and I'm at the third annual Relay for Life in Cameron Park, California. And we are raising money today to fight cancer, um, for cancer research and cancer cures and cancer prevention. And we are out here um, walking the track, getting lots of steps in, putting some luminaria bags out. We got a luminaria ceremony going on tonight at 8 p.m. And um, just having a lot of fun, having a lot of people camp out and learn more about prevention and fighting back against this horrible disease. We have um, different groups of people that form teams to fight cancer and those people are joining us for this 24 hour event, um, walking on a track. And the reason we picked 24 hours is because um, cancer never sleeps and it's in support of the cancer patients um, going through the different stages of treatment. Um, and showing our support for them and understanding what they're going through. So these people are walking the track. Um, our goal is to keep people on the track during that 24 hours. So they take turns, you know, the teams will have somebody that walks for an hour or 30 minutes and some people that walk all day and all night. So just depending on um, their different um, motivation and ability, then they're able to walk for the given time that they can. Okay, the girls are making bags and they're decorating them with all kinds of Relay for Life and um, breast cancer and all types of cancer, uh, hearts and, and symbols. And you can make a bag for your loved ones or anyone you care to. And then we fill them with sand and we line the relay course with them. And then when it gets dark, we have the little, um, what do they call it? Glow sticks, I'm sorry. Instead of using candles, we're using glow sticks and we're going to draw, drop them in all of the bags so that tonight when we're doing the walk, the whole path is going to be lit. today in honor of my friend and colleague Rochelle. She has cervical cancer and so we have friends and family out here today walking for her on behalf of her raising money for cancer research and we hope that you will consider joining us the next time we're out here. Today we've enjoyed the beautiful sunshine, the lake, the ducks, the cool temperatures and lots of made new friends today, heard some great entertainment and um, look forward to meeting all of you in the future. Oh, rocking the relay of life for my mother, passed away in September. I'm future father-in-law and this is my daughter, his uh, girlfriend, and we're all doing this together to be supportive of our future son-in-law. Yeah. 
Um, my name's Paula. I'm walking for family members. My dad lost his battle with cancer. My aunt. I even had pets. I lost my dog to cancer. Family members. All the research um, helps everybody. And we come out to earn money because the American Cancer Society fights for everybody, all kinds of cancers. And it's a great event. It's in the community. It's all your friends, your neighbors. And it's just a really great event to come out to. And it's to a great cause. Today we are here supporting all the family members and friends that have um, cancer. My name is Dina Brown. I'm here today supporting the Cameron Park Relay for Life. I am the Speaker of Hope, 32 year survivor this month. So I am here with my sisters, my friends, my grandnieces, and my caretaker and sister Sandra. Hi, I'm Sandra. I'm here also to support the Relay for Life. This is uh, something we're going to be doing every year, and it's really important to all of us in our family. We've had different kinds of cancers run through. We've lost people. We still have people, you know, and it's all just about hope and faith and just, you know, being, being real glad that everybody that's here is here. I'm Cheryl, and I'm here to support my longtime friend, Dina. Known each other for over 30 years, and I love her, and I'm glad she beat cancer. And I think this is a great event to raise funding and awareness and support each other. Our track is illuminated by Luminaria bags, each one representing a treasured relationship. They represent people, each with a name and a story to tell. They are our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, our brothers, our sons, our daughters, our friends, and our loved ones. We love these people. We remember them, we celebrate them, and we fight back against this disease for them. As these Luminaria glowed through the night. They re represent our shared vision of our cancer-free future. Nearly 30 years ago, one man had a vision. His vision was not like one of many of you tonight. His vision was of a world free from pain and from suffering of cancer. A world where there would be again, where we would again never hear the words, you have cancer.